Right guys, <laughs> it's been some time, but I'm bringing out another video. Anyway, welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, let's be honest. I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time now. Because what we're actually going to look at isn't something new. In fact, it is something that didn't happen only last week. It's been a long time coming. Despite what many of you may think. Think. Yes, that's right. We're going to talk about the CIS server migration and we're going to put some of those misconceptions to bed. Let us all be honest here. Firstly, the overall gameplay in Blitz, regardless of what server you're on, has been slowly but ever so surely been going downhill for quite some time now. Now, some may point the finger at update 5.5. Some may point the finger at the fact that Wargaming have basically thrown boosters, certificates and such at new players, and some may point the finger at the new auto-aim system. Regardless, despite all of that, many of you out there at the moment are of the view that the overall gameplay in Blitz is going downhill, especially on the EU server, because of the CIS server migration, which only happened at the start of September. So, is that true? And what do I think? Well, I think, well, there's been a multitude of issues that have inevitably led to the drop in the gameplay, especially the skill level. And yes, it's fair to say it's a combination of all the above, really. Now look, since Wargaming, in its infinite wisdom, decided to make it easier for new players to get hold of those bigger guns, We've seen the overall skill level in Blitz drop. Gone are the days where you as a player needed to learn certain skills in order to unlock the next tier tank. Okay, because nowadays you can literally get to tier 10 in a few days. Even quicker if you're prepared to drop your hard earned cash to basically pay to progress. Now I know this for a fact. Not because I myself have done this, but because my 12-year-old, Georgie, aka Mini Fujit, is about to grab his first tier 10 after one month of playing. Month, you say? That's nothing. But I'm a tight git, you know? So Georgie is purely 100% free to play. He doesn't even have a premium account. He has no premium account, he has no gold, and he has no access to real life cash. Yet, he's grabbed hold of the E75 and he's very close to getting that E100. Fair play to him is what I say. Look, Georgie has a little bit of skill, even if I do say so myself. But he doesn't really understand some of the intricacies in the game. And he still struggles with a lot of the technical aspects that used to be bread and butter stuff in order to progress. Such as side scraping, angling the tank positioning and even shooting accurately but that doesn't stop him he still enjoys the game and he still has fun okay simple as that that has bugger all to do with the cis migration not even slightly because it doesn't and it's wrong to put all the woes on the eu server down to that particular thing i mean it's not like the eu server has been like filled with super duper unicums since its conception and it's not like the eu server has not been toxic uh, come on you're trying to kid here and that's the next thing i want to talk about yeah i see a lot of toxicity in fact some of it borders on hatred and it's directed at these newer players for whatever reason okay and i just want i just want to single that out for a moment now, as i said it's not like we've not had no toxicity on the EU server like ever it's just rubbish now I want to give you an example and this is not having to go at me I mean Meads is a great guy and he does fantastic videos yesterday he did a video on you know what's going on with the EU server and he sort of pointed out he's seen an increase in toxicity which may or may not be true I don't know I mean my ability to read and write in any Cyrillic language is pretty pretty slim and limited but 
I get the point. But the other thing is this. If I go back and have a look at the videos that Means is released, almost weekly, there's a video on toxicity. So it's not like the EU server has been immune. It's like we've not been ever toxic. And that's just BS. We have, and we continue to be. You know, this influx of newer ex-CIS players haven't suddenly increased the toxicity levels. You know, we're just seeing toxicity in a different language, primarily. So, you know, we've got to be, we've got to be careful on this. But again, let's have a look at some of the cold, hard facts. Firstly, the reason behind this migration is purely due to the fact that those players who are based in Russia and Belarus will no longer have access to the Apple or Google Play stores because of sanctions. And as such, they won't be able to download the updates, let alone pay for anything in the game going forward. Okay. They may have a VPN, but in order to access these stores in a non-sanctioned country, they have to be registered in that country, okay? Now take it from me, I mean, I'm English, but I live in the UAE. I wasn't given a choice because when I opened my Apple account, I had to register in the UAE and I had to use either my phone number or my credit card, one of the two. So it, it's not as straightforward as, oh, I've got a VPN, therefore I can be anywhere in the world. It doesn't work that way when you open these, these accounts. So, okay, they may already have accounts that are based in a European location. I get that, I understand that. But, it, you know, they need to use a VPN to access it. But they can't use any Russian credit cards or debit cards to make purchases, which means they have to use gift cards. And they may be able to do that, but look, this is a, this is a, a lot of trouble for people based in Russia and Belarus, especially when they now have access to a similar game. It's, it's exactly the same game, it's just called Tank Blitz, and it's only really available for Russians and Belarusians, hence the reason for the migration. Because those people who are on the CIS server but not based in Russia or not based in Belarus will not have access to Tank Blitz. And, like, by default, the Russian people based in Russia and people based in Belarus won't have access to World of Tanks Blitz. Simple as that. So, that's the reason for the migration. Now, the other thing you have to remember is this. It's therefore illogical to think that the recent migration, the EU server, has somehow been swamped by Russians. That's not actually true. But it's a, what many of us are thinking, yeah? We're all thinking, oh my god, we're just swamped by Russians now. And that's not really the case. Now the thing is this, just because somebody uses a language that looks Russian doesn't actually make it Russian, nor does it make the person using the language a Russian. Look, there are lots of countries, some are already part of the European Union, that use an alphabet that upon the face of it, to the uninitiated, looks Russian. Not only that, but the CIS, which is the Commonwealth of Independent States, a political sort of thing similar to the European Union, isn't just Russian, okay? It, it comprises of some nine countries, realistically, other than Russia and Belarus. Now all of those countries speak Russian. It may not be their main language or official language, but they all speak Russian. And it's those countries that wargaming is biased to migrate to the EU. Now those countries include Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and even Mongolia. And I just want to give you, you know, something to focus you a little bit. Those of you watching this will probably know of Happy, um, the YouTuber. Okay. Happy used to play on the CIS server. He's now migrated to the EU server. Happy speaks fluent Russian. No doubt he reads and writes in Russian, but he's not Russian. He's a Kazakh. He's from Kazakhstan. Okay. So to call him a Russian is inherently wrong because he's not Russian. And, you know, I'm speaking out of turn here because I've not spoken to Happy, but I'm pretty certain he doesn't want to be called a Russian. He'd rather be called a Kazakh. So these are the sort of people who are migrating across. So it's, it's wrong to say that they're Russians. You have to remember that. Not only those countries, but there are also previous Soviet Union countries that are now fully independent and part of the European Union. 
that also have large or pretty large speaking Russian, Russian speaking populations. For example, Estonia, Latvia, Georgia, and yes, even Ukraine. Look, Russian is not their official language. It's not even their main language, but they have significant Russian speaking populations, especially for the older generations, because during the Soviet Union, they would have only spoken Russian. Well, actually, they wouldn't have only spoken Russian. They, Russian would have been their main language, but they would have still been able to speak their own languages. Now, aside from that, there are countries that don't speak Russian, but they have a language that is based on the Cyrillic alphabet, kind of. So it looks Russian, but it's not actually Russian. Such countries are Ukraine. Their language looks Russian, but it's not Russian, it's Ukrainian. Bulgaria, Macedonia, Serbia, Bosnia, Montenegro. These countries have a distinct language, but for the uninitiated, it looks Russian. It's actually not. I mean, Serbian looks Russian, but it's not. It's Serbian, simple as that. Same as Ukrainian, same as Bulgarian. It's therefore an incorrect presumption that all those who use a Cyrillic language are Russian. Because the chances are they're not. And of course, yes, okay, I agree. Some Russians would have migrated to the EU server. Which stands to reason. But it's not like we haven't had Russian players on the EU server ever. Because that's just not true. We've had Russian players ever since there's been an EU server. You know, I guarantee you this for a fact. We've had Ukrainian players since there's been an EU server. Nothing prevents anybody from joining a particular server. I was on the CIS server, I'm on the Asian server, I'm on the NA server. I'm not North American, I'm, I, I'm not Russian, yeah, I was on those servers. And we've had Russians and Belarusians on the EU server for a long time. However, I do see a lot of hatred now directed towards these players on the assumption that they're Russian. Now look, I totally understand the current situation in Eastern Europe. I do. But, my friends, we're playing a pixelated tank game. We're not embroiled in some geopolitical debate or discussion. We're here to play a game, to have fun and, well, hopefully to have fun, and hopefully to be entertained. Now, yeah, I get many of you have strong feelings and sentiments towards what's going on in the real world. I get that, I understand that. But ask yourself the question, does that really have any place in the actual game? And my, um, my immediate answer would be, well, no, it doesn't. If you really do feel that strongly, and you really want to voice your view, then there are better platforms out there to do it, such as Twitter. I mean, if, Twitter is a great platform if you want to voice your opinion on stuff like that. And you will find lots of like-minded people who are not interested in a pixelated tank game, but they are interested in what you've got to say about geopolitical stuff going on in the world. Blitz isn't the place though, guys. Now look, we all have an opinion on something that may differ from somebody else, okay? And ironically, we're eager to jump on those who cross a line in our perception. For example, people who use racist remarks or people who use homophobic remarks. Regardless of what your opinion may be, we, we, we draw a line there. Yet now we're saying it's okay to shout at somebody and scream at somebody because they're, they potentially could be a Russian. Well, it, there's no place for any of this in the game. It just breeds hatred. And as I said, if you really feel that strongly about it, then find a platform where you can voice those opinions. Of course, there may be people who cross the line. Of course there will be. You know, there may be people who sort of praise certain things or say certain things that are totally, totally untoward. And regardless of what language they do it in, if they do that, report them. That's the whole idea of the reporting system. It may not be the greatest of systems, but it's a system. And the reason behind that is to allow Wargaming to stamp out these things and to give us a less toxic platform to play on. Because nobody likes that. Now, look, at the end of the day, I personally welcome each and every new member of the EU server, regardless of where they're from. Yes, they do, um, a lot of them do, come with very strange tactics and strategies and gameplay. But that was probably normal on the CIS server. And we as players 
need to sort of improvise, adapt, and overcome to an extent in order to sort of make ourselves better. I'm not sat here on high saying I'm holier than thou. I bitch and moan like everybody else, guys. You know, I, I moan about these strange tactics. I moan about these this strange gameplay, which to me appears to be either yolo or camp. It's not even, there's no middle bit. But that's because I'm just a normal person like everybody else. You know, I get frustrated, and when you get frustrated, you get salty. Because when you start losing due to Muppet players, you're going to sort of be a little bit salty. That's not new. <laughs> There's been Muppet players in the game for a long time. It's not just happened at the start of September. I mean, go back and have a look at some of my streams. I've been bemoaning Muppet players for, like, ages. Not just recently. You know, and it's not like all of a sudden the gameplay is suddenly, ah, it's suddenly terrible. Because it's always been terrible to an extent. You know? But here's the thing you gotta remember. The EU server has grown massively. And I mean massively. Um, there are now four clusters. Five, actually. Zero, one, two, three, and four. So there's a lot more players on the EU server. I went on the game yesterday and there's like 35,000 people online at one time. We used to get those numbers when there were special events on. So there has been a significant increase in the player base. But the thing is, the overall demographic hasn't changed. 5% are still super duper unicorn. 5% are still totally trash. Which means that 90% is broken up between mediocre players or not so good players to the average player to the above average player. That's normal. Okay, what you're seeing with the increase in the player base is an increase in the number of bad players. But the percentages remain as is. It just looks worse because there are now more players. It's straightforward, realistically. That's, it's logical. Thing is, at the end of the day, these new additions are here because they've been advised to come here by Wargaming. It's not their fault that they're here. It's not their fault that they now bring what was most likely normal tactics on the CIS server. Chances are most of them probably didn't want to migrate, but they had no choice. And we therefore need to weather this storm somewhat. We have to hope that our EU tactics will eventually rub off on them or vice versa. And that overall in a few months, the situation will settle down and we all get used to this migration and everything that that brings. The thing to remember is this, however, not everybody who uses what appears to be Russian is actually a Russian or actually using Russian. So before you go off on one, just consider that you actually may be calling a Ukrainian a Russian, which no doubt will not go down that well for obvious reasons. Now, like I said, if anybody crosses a red line, just report them. Problem is kind of solved, yeah? Now, regardless of all of that, I do think wargaming they drop a ball somewhat on this one. Yes, they created two new EU servers, C3 and C4. But for the life of me, I do not understand why they didn't consider doing what World of Tanks PC did. And that was to put all those who migrated onto the C3, C4 server and ring fence them. That allowed for a slower integration. We haven't done that with Blitz. Everybody's just been lumped in, okay? And you're therefore seeing something different. Now, I think they should have done that. Okay, they should have ring fenced it. They should have put these migrating people onto their separate servers, albeit still on EU, and allowed for a slower transit, a slower integration. Okay, and that would have made, or at least it could have minimized a lot of what you're now seeing. But they didn't do that, and it is what it is. Not only that, but I've seen the lag on the game, especially at certain times of the day, go up. And, and that's not good for anybody. Anyway, it is what it is, guys. And we as players, we have no influence whatsoever on this part of the game. And that's the thing you've got to remember, you know. It, it's going to take some time to get used to this. It doesn't mean that it's all doom and gloom, however. Just get used to it. Anyway... I've been Fuji. That has been kind of my take on this CIS server migration. Good thing or bad thing? 
it's here to stay and we've got to get used to it and the thing we've got to remember is this don't become a toxic a-hole because you think that person is Russian because he, chances are he isn't it doesn't matter if he is I don't really give a damn where anybody's from in the world I'm here to play a game and I'm here to have fun playing a game and I'm here to have enjoyment okay there's not a lot of that at the moment because you're seeing uh, an increase in bad players and you're gonna get that okay as the player base increases as I said you're gonna get more bad players but that's not necessarily going to be the run of the mill for ever and a day now it's just the way it is so we need to just chill out a little bit okay we need to calm down we need to remember as I said it's not like the EU server only had good players it's not like the EU server was never toxic it's always been there you know we're just being a little bit I don't know overly sensitive and we just found the next thing to bemoan about for whatever reason because as blitz players we always find something to bitch and moan about be it update 5.5 be it boosters be it the new auto aim be it whatever it may be we will always find something to blame other than our go ourselves and our own crappy gameplay and not necessarily true yeah I mean sometimes we just fuck up <laughs> we just play badly and we just lose so look take a chill okay I have faith that it will calm down I don't think it's a bad thing for the EU server long term okay it's just gonna take some getting used to and once we're used to it I'm, I'm telling you we'll have a whale of a time and as I said I welcome each and every one of those new players it's not to say that 100% are gonna be you know not dickheads because there are gonna be some dickheads but we've already had that on the EU server it's nothing new you know they're just gonna join the dickheads that we currently have uh, so simple as that really anyway as I said I've been Fuji I want to hear your thoughts and views on this because it will be intriguing to know so until the next time guys just remember one thing yeah it is after all only a game it's there to be enjoyed and to have some fun so stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because at the end of the day that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy